The princess, she... She is no more. I was sworn to protect her. The king made her as a more perfect version of myself. But this was her true fate after all. And what of us? Can we really save the world? Of course, we, you must have faith. But what if Bao Zhuin and Sid Travos are right? What if the king is right? Maybe our world should end. Maybe we do not deserve to continue. No, we deserve to exist. I... I want to believe that. I... I do believe it. You are right. We must not give up. We may no longer fight for the king or the princess, but we fight for ourselves and each other. You are right. Thank you. Wink. Onija has rung the beacon. We must hurry. When Kali, I can't, was never sorry for... I don't... Spirit can... The prophecy? A gridge, Ipo, what is happening? A gridge, Ipo. They're gone. Okay. Makes the comparison as explicit as possible, doesn't it? Well then, let's go decide the fate of the not world. Okay. Yeah, I hate doors too. Let's never open them with the knobs or whatever. I mean, I don't see a knob. Was it established that it wasn't like openable at the beginning or something? That might have been the case. Oh, I haven't fought spider dudes for a while. Come here. Come and get me. Do I just, so I just lost all my stuff? Oh. Huh. I don't know how I feel about the idea that the game took away my party members during that boss fight and now they're taking them away again just because, like, isn't kind of the point of me getting the big garden to have all these powers and skills and... Huh. You could say that it's somewhat a uh, story is like being about being less dependent and striking out on your own and everything. Although I have skills that specifically are for helping allies that I don't have and that's a little weird. That feels weird. Anyway, they all have four health, they're... furied. That's a thing that keeps happening too, huh? Ever since I got grabbed, a lot of the enemies I encounter just are immune to it. Which I'm not super psyched about. I'm gonna calm myself as he approaches. And then I'm gonna jab him in the face. Which is a bad idea, because if he, if he gets a jab in, I take damage that I can't heal, so never mind. But I can do this. Aha! Probably hit someone, right? Howdy, folks. Jab. Am I gonna get hit? No? Seem to be getting away with it. Strange. Let's do the big punch. I am getting hit by that dude. I would kill that guy, but I'm gonna, t I'm gonna get hit, so let's avoid that. Could do a leap, but then I'll get into some... Might get into some stamina problems. Goodbye! What's gonna happen this turn? I do take a hit. What if I move first? Still take a hit. Okay. Harry. They might buy me a turn. Yep. So I get I get away with that turn. They're both coming after me, so I should leap. Certainly faster fights when you only have one character to control. <laughs> Harry. That'll stun him for a moment, but I need- I pretty much need to rest. But I can keep doing the parries. And then jab. There we go. Oops. Jab. And then follow up with the finisher. Strong punch. 
There we go. This probably looks really cool. Just weaving through an entire group of enemies without taking a single hit. Doesn't look spectacular, because it's all... It's a... It's kind of like that stilted... Like, when you see characters in one of those, like, isometric-looking JRPGs doing, like, combat outside of combat. Like in, like, Golden Sun or, like, Final Fantasy, like, 9 or something like that, where you have, like, a top-down camera and you're in the overworld and little guides are gonna hit each other in these little sort of pre-canned animations. But, so, like, the, indiv the individual moves don't look that great, but the... The culmination of watching a character weave around for that long without getting hit and taking down a bunch of dudes, like, that looks pretty neat. It's a Chia garden, full of Chia babies. I feel like I'm gonna meet the monumental that holds the world together. We're back. Hey, the feast is still here, like nothing happened. Sure sucks to, sucks to be a saber-toothed tiger or a bear around here. Hey Lloyd, you, did you not notice all the chaos? Uh, what the hell? Unexpected reaction to Lloyd. What is happening? That sound. It sounds like it's at the front door. I don't feel so great. All right, well things got pretty weird when this started happening in real life. Is he gonna find out that he's in a Steam game? <laughs> Sur surprise, your reality is a game too. Oh, I... I feel normal again. It's just the doorbell. It sounded like... I don't know. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Abby? Oh, Isaac's dad, okay. Hey, Gary. I'm Abby, Isaac's dad. May I come in? Uh, sure. Sorry to bo to bother you so late, like this. I... I needed to... I couldn't wait. I know you've been spending some time with Isaac. He talks about you. I think he looks up to you. I... I don't know what I'm doing. I want to be a real dad for him, but he hates me. I don't blame him. You know Isaac. You know how to talk to him. What do I do? He needs commitment from you, obviously. Yeah, I keep saying I'll walk out on him any day now. Honestly, I think I might. I don't know if I'm cut out for this. I think you should keep trying. The only thing that's going to bring you closer is time. He needs you to be there for him consistently before he can trust you again. Fights are gonna happen, but as long as he sees that you're trying, well... That's all you can do. I know you don't know me that well, but... Do you think Isaac would be better off without me? No, even if you leave, he won't forget you. Yeah, I see your point. Why did you leave Isaac when Isaac was a baby? I had a cr I had a crisis of faith in myself. Gabby was unsatisfied with me. I seemed like the world was ending. In my head, my life was like a test or a game, and I had failed. I just wanted to reset, start over, onto the next life. But I realized that it's not really game over. It's still going. I can't pretend otherwise. I should have been grateful, but I threw it away. I couldn't help it at the time. I was lacking perspective. Maybe I have enough now. Thanks for listening, Gary. And thanks for looking out for Isaac. You're a good guy. When things were weird, uh, well, the, my first reaction to the weirdness was to check upstairs. Because she's not here, but it is nighttime. Okay, no, where's mom? Oh, I've never looked at it at nighttime yet. Look at the stars. Can I look up? No? Can't look up at the stars. There's people, I think? Or is it a street light? At... She's not in bed. Yeah, where's mom? 
Look at my first reaction to the weird light, the weird thing that was happening. I'm like, did the rapture happen in this game? That's weird, right? That the mo mom's just gone? Like... I can't, I'm not allowed to go anywhere. So I don't know what's going on. But... <laughs> but mom's just gone. After, and I had a weird real-life experience of crazy lights happening. And my mother that believes that the world is ending and the rapture is happening is gone. That's really weird. Um... It might be just an oversight, like they forgot to put her somewhere. Or maybe, like they didn't expect you to look around, or maybe she, maybe something just happened. Could go to bed. I'm not going to sleep until I finish this game, it's driving me nuts. I was wondering what he was going to say. So it sounds like playing ahead might have been kind of pointless because it sounds like you were going to finish it no matter what, like right now. At all costs. What's your deal, Lloyd? So you made it back. Well done. Anisha is upstairs with the beacon, and the judge is coming. Anything else you want to know? What is the judge? The judge is a being of mysterious power. A being of monstrous power. It roams the heavens, keeping watch from afar. When the king's wor works are ready to be judged, the beacon calls forth judgment. The one who holds the power of the spear shall represent the earth. That is you, Winkali. If you do not pass the judge's trial, then all we know shall be annihilated. Who is the king? The king is an ancient being from another realm. He was long ago banished to our world for his sins. And so he is trapped here until the judge allows him to leave. He toys with life, bending it to his will. Through the ages, he has created and guided many peoples like ourselves. Only when his work satisfied the judge may the king go free. What is the beacon? The beacon is a device formed of vegetation by the king's magic. The roots of the beacon snake through time and space, and through its lens we may pe peer upon distant worlds. But it is also an alarm to call forth the judge, as Onesia has fo foolishly done. Who are you? I am Lo Lloyd Floyd, the king's accountant. Accountant? I count things. Or rather, I maintain the living machinery which is keeping count of all sorts of things. This arbalisk itself is a great counting machine. Its roots spread across the land, absorbing and manipulating information. The king's magic works in strange ways. Few others know so many of the king's secrets, so Onesian... Onesia has chosen not to dispatch me yet. Wincali, if you succeed, then I will see to it that you become a legend. I will use the king's machinery to capture your story and entwine it in the lives of your descendants for generations to come. This shall be my gift to you. Is that... Is the idea that I succeeded and then that becomes the video game, basically, somehow? I'm just amused by the... Hey, look, there's like tortillas in there, or flatbreads. There's a lot going on here with the different food everywhere. Where do they... where do they actually eat, though? Hmm. Did they just eat directly out of each pool, or do they have plates? Like, I, I've got questions about it, how you deal with this, like... It looks like a like a buffet, almost, but they were all seated in front of it, which is unusual. Hmm. But yeah, I'm, I'm I'm amused by the setup payoff stuff. They're like like well, what are you the what are you God's accountant? And then here's the the king of this world. We met his accountant. This king, he has no creator, no great leader, only another trickster, an illusionist. This world is his game. Nothing here matters, it is only a reflection of a true life. We have played enough. Let us end this now.
I should probably be a bit concerned. Triple ghostly fireball. Huh. There's a lot. There's so much going on with that fire. All right. Uh. What? He cannot be affected by harmful special powers. No. Damn it. If I grab him, I lose four hit points. That's excessive. And it can't be staggered. All right, so he's doing a fireball, but it won't hit me where I'm standing right now, so I'm fine. I can't, t I can't use tents on him to hurt his, his, his AP. So I'm just gonna hang out here. Keep calling it AP on accident. <laughs> right, so here comes the fire. Now he's moving. What's he gonna do? Oh, he's he's running away from my follow-up attack. Frustrating. But he's going towards up there. I can leap there. Try to head him off. Aha! Got him. Can he heal? Because he's really close to being down already. Oh, he dodged it. He's resting. I'll rest too. Convenient. We'll all rest together. Is he fireballing? He is. Joke's on you, because that's a slow, time-consuming attack, right? Yeah. Launches a heat ray. Aha, you missed me. Now die. Oh. Well, that's frustrating. <laughs> Wait, he's healing. He's resting again. While he's resting, I'll use calm on myself. Let's get out of his attack range. He's doing naughty things to me. There we go. And while I'm safe, I'll rest. There we go. Right, for a bit now, a lot of my actions are basically free. Where's he going? He's, he's moving. I'm gonna leap at him. Nope, not that time either. Surprised my first attempt was so successful. Heat ray is coming my way. But what if I leap again? Aha! Just stand still for a second, it's fine. Oh, he's out of AP! Boop. Frogger powers activate. 10 motivation. He was surprising. He was easier than my best friend was. Because <laughs> leaping is super powerful. But I couldn't really leap at uh, Underworld Man because he put down a vortex of bad. <laughs> the judge says Gary. Something weird about that, right? Gary. Oh. Your mother will be gone soon. Are you ready to stand on your own? 30 out of 30 motivation. Boom. I got this. What? Error. The game had threat has terminated. What? Oh shit. Wait, was that pop-up? <laughs> I don't know if that pop-up was part of it or not. That was confusing. <laughs> I, the screen went white and I got a, I got a Windows pop-up saying the game threat is terminated, but I thought the game crashed, but now I'm still playing? I don't know if that was an, uh, Oh shit, oh. Oh shit, shit, shit. That was mom. That was mom for sure. Was that real? Where is she? 
It's midnight. This is when she said the world would end. I need to find her. Okay. Screen's changing size. That was unnerving. I know. I'll play the computer. I know. I'll play, I'll play the bed. Nope. I have 30 motivation. Damn it. You can't beat me. That's like level cap or something, right? Yeah, I checked up. So I guess this is why he was. Go she was gone. I try. I looked up here before. Maybe this will finally do something. Am I gonna see the? Am I gonna see like the rapture happening in real in real time? I think I see her. Wait, is that the lights down there? Is that her? Because I totally saw that earlier. That's amazing if that's the coincidence. Oh, did she go to where all the family is buried? Like, because she was talking about the graveyard? Mom? I know. It's not over yet. But I miss him so much. Thank you for playing. I wonder if they were worried people wouldn't pick up on what was going on here. The color coding was pretty heavy. Well, alrighty then. This was Legendary Gary. That was pretty alright. The art's one of the strongest part of the ga parts of the games for sure. I was a. Uh, a little surprised the princess is the Carrie's feelings for Megan. Yep, even that part was actually kind of obvious, where it's like, the princess is like hypothetical Megan, and soldier girl was real Megan. And it's like when you realize who the person actually is. Okay, I'm not sure if I pieced that together. I guess they were both red, but... I don't know if I see how he was the world ender and the judge. Huh. David's Dave's depression was her Midas. <laughs> okay. Dad, who you never see the face of. And he's manifest in the form of a Taco Bell toy, basically. Yeah, the art direction's really strong. Uh, could do with more animation in general, but that's incredibly expensive. And, uh... That's the that's the thing is like the paradox, right? Is like a lot of animation never happens. A lot of animation never seems to ever get done by the high-end studios necessarily, like like 2D animation. But so the the indie people try it, but they're the ones that are sometimes least prepared to do it. Avi is lava lava. What? That guy you might have flipped off is Tavros. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. The guy in the Tavros was the guy in the car. Sure. Old Gary was the most badass turtle of them all. That was the surprise. We just got a bunch of people fired, because we just suck. I would kind of compare this move, this game a little bit to uh, how I first felt when I watched Wreck-It Ralph, which is that I didn't know what to expect, so... When I, there's like a sinking feeling of like, oh, are they just gonna stay in this candy world for the rest of the movie? Because they were jumping between all these different spaces and that, that seemed like it'd be a fun gimmick. And then they hung out in Candyland for a long time. And then the movie ended basically. Uh, and this one, you're like, oh, what's what kind of adventure are we going on? What places are we gonna go to? What's, what's gonna go on in this game? And then it's like, you go to the store slash the fantasy version of the store for most of the time. And I was, and I, uh, I, the little part with the drugs, <laughs> oh, the accountant is the developer, slash the artist, right? Right, that makes sense. 
I think the, uh, the drugs part fooled me into thinking that there's gonna be tons of crazy freedom and branching and stuff like that. And so that surprised me when that wasn't necessarily where it went, more or less. Uh... I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's like me just measured expectations, I guess. It... I like the game. I just kept thinking it was kind of going to go further in various ways. I'm not sure how much branching storyline and decisions there really are versus just sort of like the kind of dialogue that just makes you feel involved. Like the illusion of choice might be a lot of it and I'm not really sure. And it'd be hard to tell without putting more time in. But definitely impressive if these credits are accurate that it just seems to be one person made a game. Uh, that's some crazy shit. Uh, Combat was interesting. Uh, I don't know if it had... I'm, it probably doesn't have quite enough, like, depth and intrigue to keep going, like... To, like, to, like, to want to, like, replay it for the combat, necessarily, but... I would love to see that kind of system, like, just really run with for, like, a, uh, like a full RPG somewhere. Uh, cause th it's kind of like a... It's almost like a placeholder in this game in a little bit, like, not... I'm trying to figure out how to even put this. It's it's a uh, kind of like how the combat is, works in the fall a little bit, where like the fall is just like that's it's at its core a game about being like an adventure game where you like get an inventory and use items on things to solve puzzles and then experience a story, and sometimes some combat happens, and they go in different directions with the combat, but it's, it's like it's clearly not the biggest focus, and this kind this one kind of had some of that feeling, like there's kind of like a looseness to it all, and there's a... I don't know, I'm just really intrigued by the system and I want to see it... taken way further, basically. But yeah, this is Legendary Gary. Memorable, weird, indie... experience that caught my eye immediately and I just had to jump in on it, and I'm happy I did. I'm... surprised. Just like Pipe Push Paradise, to just find these neat things that no one seems to be looking into that much. Hopefully, someone buys it. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, like always, guys. And I think I'm supposed to click on a finger. Oh, the game closed. <laughs>